Hi all, Abe here. Welcome back to the channel. Here's hoping you and yours are doing well. Today we're back at No Man's Sky's Permadeath Mode. In our last episode, we informed Apollo of Artemis' fate, and he in turn, well, wants to meet with us. So we were sent off to a monolith to hopefully find the coordinates of our planet, uh, so he can meet us via the portal. We just finished speaking with the monolith, and have directed us to go to a portal, and uh, that's, that's where we left it. Let's pop in. Let's see what we can get into. Leyline linked, detected, tracing to source. Okay. Oh, that's there. That's where we gotta go. Let's get on the ship. Where are you? Here we go. Let us take a look see. You know, getting out of the ship, I'm getting some kind of lag. I don't know what's happening, but that's okay. Alright, let's see what we can see. Pillars of Nafugar. Uh, okay, what's the deal here? All right, so so I have to recharge it for all of this. Why? This is a mission. Why are you making me do this, <laughs> bastards? Okay, fine. Let me just use up all the stuff that I have. So I need to st st collect stellar material. I don't have any of these here right now. All right, so I have to find some of that somewhere. Let's give you some carbon. I wonder if this saves the um the charge. God, I hope so. I don't want to leave to go get something and then it come back and I have to redo this again. That would suck. All right, so I need copper, cadmium, emerald, copper. Wait, there was a copper thing just here, right? What was this? Um. I saw it from space. Didn't I see it from space? Or am I imagining? Before we landed. Huh. I guess not. I must be imagining things. Could have sworn I saw something, but no matter. Let's go ahead and take a look for a deposit. Let's check this, this deposit out. There might be some copper in here. You never know. Maybe it senses... Oh, he needs copper. Let's hook him up. No. He needs copper. Hook him up. No. Copper? No. Okay. No copper. Yeah, relax there, portal. Oh, there it is. I knew I saw something. What is that? That is copper. All right, so I wasn't imagining it. Cool. All right, so let's get some copper. And let's go ahead and get this done. Okay, that, that, that'll do. Let's go ahead and see if the... What, what? Stop, stop it with the weapon thing. What's going on? Let's go, come on. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's see. All right, pillars. Let's see here. We got some copper. There you go. Oh, it only needs 20. So that's that's not too bad. And the last one. Sweet. Everything is charged. What what else do I have to do? Locate the portal. I've located the portal. It's here. 
what what do I have to do now? Am I missing something? Does something need to get more charged up? Does this thing need some more stuff? Oh, okay. So that one needed. It has to be full. Traveler capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. Okay. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. Okay. I am unsure if I should listen. Right, let's request this planet's address. Oh. Alright, so that's the address of where I am now. Okay, let's leave. Huh? What? Relay the portal glyphs to Apollo at Holo Terminus. Oh, alright, so let's hit. See if we can get the Holo Terminus and talk to Apollo. Holo Terminus detected. Oh, well, come on, let's get on the ship. Let us go. Oh, lovely. Incoming firestorm! You know? Can you imagine if we had firestorms here? Unbelievable. Alrighty. The hollow terminus. Let us see what we can see. Can you... <laughs> Why is this... It freezes every time I get out and get into the ship. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I have to reset the, uh... The Xbox. I, I, I don't know. Ooh, it's getting toasty. Wait, I hope this thing doesn't kill me. You know what? Let me let me wait off the storm here. I don't want this thing to kill me while I'm talking on the holo terminus. That would not be cool. What would I need for the thermal protection anyway? Uh, for this, I need. Okay. Battery and advanced battery. Does that charge it fully? It does. All right, so maybe maybe that'll that'll do. That'll do. All right, let's go. Let's get up there. Ooh, what? Seriously, you don't want to climb climb the ladder? I have to press to climb the ladder now. What? Since when? <laughs> Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Alright, let's tune into Apollo. Hey, hey, Apollo! Man, long time no see. You're looking good, kid. Alright. Have you found the glyphs for your world? I'm almost ready. My suit is upgraded, my stomach is full, and I have hired a Gek to look after my farm while I'm away. Ooh, ask about the farm. Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit I've found in my travels, but I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? Okay, grumpy. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal. Of what happened to Artemis when they walked the same path. I think of the face of the Atlas. Of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Hmm. Let's give Apollo the glyphs. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this so-called Null. They warn me to be careful, too. Okay. Oh, oh, speak of the devil. Nolito. Two lost souls. One who cared too much, and one who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? Every sentient being that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did, once upon a time. I was angry, confused at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. I know you were just playing around with portals. But whatever you did, I am here now. And I need your help. Oh, lovely. The Atlas. 
It is not what you think it is. Something is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Ask why they need your help. The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that, seeking out anomalies in the multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crash freighter of great interest to our investigation. There we will find the first secret, I'm sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is terrified. It is in pain. And we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. Okay. How do I get, keep on getting dragged into these weird things? Fine. Alright, visit Null's Chosen Observatory. All right, let's get there. Let's take a look at our... Okay, so bring up news of Apollo Tonata. All right, so let's go ahead and do that first. I am having some weird performance issues here. Some staggering... I don't know what's going on. Look, it's like it freezes when I want to get out of the, when I want to get out. It's so strange. <clears throat> anyway, maybe the Xbox is getting old. It's time for the Xbox Series X. No. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You're becoming more visible tonight, and traveler friend. Your eyes lend themselves to our small convergence. This makes Nada happy. Uh, okay. Nada is not happy with other events. Artemis Entity perished in the portal. Portals are an infected vector for corruption. Apollo Entity will only spread corruption. Danger. Ask more. Atlas Falsity watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may belong to Atlas Falsity. Great danger. Okay. What do you got to say about all this, Polo? I'm sure you have some inspiring words of wisdom. Not our friend does not trust the portals. Scared of rampancy of the Crimson Hunter. But I do not fear in the same way. What might we discover, traveler friend? What might we learn from them? They have the same roots as you, as our home, as all this universe. Okay. Ask about fear. Fear is the mind killer. <laughs> Nada is scared we may lose our home. I am scared I will forget the world outside it. Do not let us forget, traveler friend. I will endeavor to do so, sir. Alright, visit Null's chosen observatory. Alright, so somebody gave me something. People are just giving me things. What, what did I... This is, it's a good idea to just hang around the, uh, the space station. People just start to give you stuff. All right, so I got this thing, I think. I'm not sure what, what it is, but I, I got one. I think I got something else. Man, I desperately need some more cargo space. Let me, um... Move some of this stuff to the starship in case people start giving me things. Okay, I got room now. Give me stuff. <laughs> Please give me things. <laughs> Nobody? I like Nothing? all the things. I want all, right. all the things. I missed out. I missed out, people. Okay, so that's... Try to make sure your inventory has some space for when nice folks start to trade things to you. Because you never know. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this observatory. Oh my gosh, I'm frozen? Oh no. Wow. Man. That is not... That is not good. Let's see here. Okay. Null's prediction was correct. 
The terminal is curiously open, the logs ready for me to read. This observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station, manned by a Gek specialist, a translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned, of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. Huh. But it appears that this posting was the making of them. They found strange things in the wrecks, aberrations, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist, and events that did not happen. The Gek went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Korvac still on board. They never returned. Spooky. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? There is a signal on the console. A warning on repeat. 16 short bursts of data in a loop. Okay, let's extract the coordinates. I extract the coordinates for the distress signal. A crashed vessel awaits me on another world. Alright, let's go. Let's see where we're going. Prepare crash site located. Cool. Curious. Is this how they met? Interesting. I don't know. Sounds pretty cool if they did, though. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, what do we have here? Hmm. Crew manifest. Missing. Limited data available. Alright, let's le read log one log encryption key. What? Okay, I don't have that. So... Log encryption key required. Search the crash site for secure... Okay, so I need to search the crash site. Oh no, not the toxic protection. Hold on, do I have... What is required to... Oh, yep. Got a battery. Should be fine. Alright, so let's go ahead and search the freighter for some craziness. That yeah, looks like a winner right over there. Whoa. What am I using here? What, oh, is the miming beam. Alright. Master circuit. Control circuit, okay. Log encryption key. Oh. Nice. Read the log of the crash freighter. Zero out of, oh, so there's three of these around here. Right? Is that... No, it just says read the log. So let's just go read the log. Let's not go too crazy here. Crew manifest. Missing. Limited data. Available. Alright, let's read the log. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive. But I must die as I lived. I will record it all, even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically. Not attacking, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now, we thought. We had been forgiven. We were wrong. Ooh, okay. Alright, so I need another encryption key. Log encryption, so I guess it's safe to say that there's two more of these bad boys. And yes, alright, so I have all the ones I need. Hopefully I can face the whole story now. Let's see what we got. Alright, here we go. Ship logs requested. Accessing. Okay, let's read the log. They struck as one. An attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. Only I remained. The Korvac stood with me in the end, to their credit. They concealed me within their flotilla as they headed towards the center. They are coming now. The screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. 
I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know. All of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten just like me. A thousand. A million. We are not alone, for every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen, we must declare that we lived. We existed. No matter the horror of the end. They're at my door. I... Error. Unexpected log termination. Alright. Ooh. Creepiness. Wow. <clears throat> All right, so this is to transmit the freighter's log. All right. Let's see what we can see. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Yeah, we know. We know. Thank you. All right, let's speak to Null. Signal match detected. What did you find out there? Tell me everything. All right, let's share the discoveries. I tell Null of the freighter and its recordings, how it spoke of a world where the Sentinels eliminated all life, leaving only a traveler and a single Korvax entity. I chose my words with care. You think I do not know who that Korvax entity is? Do not be so naive, traveler. Do you think anything you have read is a surprise to me? But I had to be sure of what I suspected. I know it now. The Atlas is with you. You could not see these things if it did not wish it. That freighter was a wreck from a parallel universe. There are countless such places within our multiverse. Dimensions where things happen differently. But there are three exceptions to this. The Atlas is omnipresent in all. A singular being with a singular perception. The Sentinels move between dimensions at will. All right, let's ask about the Sentinels. They served the Atlas once. They were guardians of reality, defenders of civilization. They hunted for errors within the universes, preventing destruction and loss of life. The annihilation recorded in that log, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. Uh, ask about the Atlas. The Atlas created all life, and the Sentinels defended it, searching for anomalies within that creation. That they annihilated an entire universe, well, something must have been quite wrong for them to do a thing like that. After a time, the Sentinels ended their service to the Atlas. How do you know that? I have been alive for a very long time, Traveler. I know as much as you would know had you seen the things that I have seen. It was the Travelers who corrupted existence. Our arrival was meant to herald a glorious age. But we made a terrible mistake. I... I committed an act beyond forgiveness. And from this deed, paradise was lost. But something is different in this cycle. The walls between universes, they grow thin. Nada knows this, but they keep their head in the sand. We must learn what we can from each species before we decide what to do. Visit a Viking station and speak with them. I will translate. Let's end communication. All right. Well, very interesting stuff happening <clears throat> in the world of No Man's Sky. I'm going to leave that there for now, folks. Thank you all very much for watching. My name's Abe. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.